Yo, what's happening? Welcome, long awaited figure update. This is July 2012. I know it's been too long. When was the last time I did it? I'm asking the cameraman. He doesn't I, even, I don't know at all. He doesn't even know. This is kind of like the Art Man show where I talk to somebody behind the camera, but there's actually someone here in my show. Nobody will understand that reference. Anyway, uh, let's get right to it with the big stuff. Go Kyger. Can you see, is that gonna focus okay? Yeah. Kevin is filming this for me. This is the first time I've ever had someone else do the camera on one of these. Do you wanna say hi? Do you point it at your face or something? Let's see if I focus. Hey. Cool, that was, that was good. You look really good, I saw it on the monitor. You did? Yeah. I look, I look real it's good? real flattering. Okay, good. Anyway, uh, this is Figuarts. I love these Figuarts. I actually, a lot of the figures I got this past month are from the Figuarts line. You can see the box. Uh, there, but anyway, pick this up at Anime Expo. Gokai Red from Gokaiger. I don't know if you could see that there, uh, but Gokaiger is the uh, Japanese Power Rangers, you know, Sentai series that debuted. It was last year's series, and um, the figure arts figures are they're a little pricey, and that's why I don't really get a lot of them, but they're good. So anyway, super poseable, that's the story with all of them, and uh, just they do a really good detailed job on the whole thing. But what's great about it especially is that you can see, I have it in there, I don't know if you could see within the box, this is a great feature. They come with the unit arm. Can you see that? I don't know if you can. If you can't, no big deal. See the picture. Maybe that'll work. Um, but you can see that... Uh, it comes with, a, you can actually remove the arms and put on what I call the unit arm so it looks like they're folding their arms. It's one singular unit where they look like that. Because that's a badass pose. Admit it. Admit it. Yeah. Anyway, um, you didn't have to literally admit it, but the people at home in the comments admit it. No, okay. but I legitimately think it. There you go. See? So anyway, uh, so it comes with that. I don't have that attached right now. But... It is funny because multiple figures that I bought this past month have that. Which I think, that's a revolution. That's a new thing. It's all about the unit arm now. If your figure doesn't have the unit arm, you're going to probably fail. You're going to, it's going to be bankruptcy. Anyway, but this one has it. So I'm going to post it. But I was going to get an Anime Expo. It was a little bit overpriced. And then the guy said, look, I'm going to throw, throw something in. It's going to sweeten the deal. I'm like, what could it be? And he goes, bam, Darren. I'm going to throw in that Darren. Get that spin. Is that spin? Do you get that spin? I can get that, that spin. I want, I want you to see that. Look at that spin. Uh, this is the official, this is the Darren, I guess is the name of it. I don't know, it was on the box. Uh, this is in the cockpit, is what he stands behind. So there you go. It looks good on the desk. That's just beautiful. You put it there. It's just badass. Badass desk. You can tell a pimp works here. You see it. Anyway, okay, so there's that. Enough on that. Then I got, I got to move some stuff around here. This beautiful, look at this, perfect cell statue. It's already dusty, it's been here two days. Anyway, perfect cell statue, that's what's up next. I saw this at Anime Expo and it was like, yeah, yes. Um, perfect cell, one of my favorite Akira Toriyama characters. So I had to pick this up. They had an awesome Piccolo statue too, but I didn't go back for it, I forgot. Uh, but anyway. I think this one's really cool. Every time Garrett walks in the office, he goes, oh, wish I had that. He actually did that today. He walked in and he's like, I'm so bummed I didn't get that. But it's okay. Garrett's jealous of me in a lot of ways. And this is just one of, you know, a hundred. So there's that. Anyway, this statue is awesome. One of the best characters. What do you think of it? I uh, never watched Dragon Ball. Okay, you know what? We're not going to talk to him anymore. Anyway, uh, there's that. This statue's amazing. So I had to... Put it on the desk next to Sylvia. Still best statue ever made right there. So you got to put that side by side. Anyway, uh, there's that. So for the next, there's like 80 other things. Maybe not that many, but they're at my house. So we're going to have to go there. Uh, Kevin, can you hit the teleport button and I will be yeah. here at my home. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yo, okay, welcome back. It's actually after Comic-Con now. That other part was before. Now it's after, so I got a bunch more stuff. And I apologize for my voice is going because all the cons and stuff like that. And it's a mess, but I always apologize for that. Anyway, um, just got home from the con and all that stuff. So I'm going to show the other things that I got. Oh, what's this? I found at Anime Expo. Figuarts Piccolo. 
Um, and this is what I was talking about a second ago. They had the uh, figure arts uh, with the uh, Gokai Red having this Una Arm feature. I'm a big fan of the Una Arm because look, it looks like he's oh he's folding his arms perfectly, and you can't do that with the posable arms to try to make him do that. It wouldn't look that good. So anyway, um, this is all coming apart. But uh, anyway, it comes with the unit arm. It's just one piece. Whoops, that attaches. If you could see that, there we go. It just attaches like one thing. So anyway, um, that just makes the whole thing look better, and it's really fitting for again for Go Kaiger and for Piccolo and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Anyway. A le I, I don't really own a legit Piccolo figure, and I rarely see this one on online for less than like a hundred bucks. But I found it at the con. They were selling it. The uh, company that makes them was selling them for like forty bucks or something like that. So that's pretty cool. But again, they're a little bit much sometimes. I don't remember if I already showed that I got the figure arts trunks. And this was on Amazon Prime for really not that much, actually. But um, it came with the regular trunks, uh, head, and all that stuff. But you can change it to Super Saiyan if you wanted to, which I did. And he's got, like, a fragment of a sword. I don't know if you could see that. But it fits right in the uh, hilt or whatever. So you can have him holding it like that. But anyway, I got that. I don't remember if I talked about that already or not. One show that I've been really into lately and i don't know if people watching know about it but um the kind of like japanese power rangers shows that are in japan there's one that's kind of a riff on them like a spoof thing and uh i know that sounds really stupid but um it's really really like a smart funny show called akiba ranger and they just released the red ranger for that the box looks really really like stupid but that's in character with the show because um, the show itself is kind of poking fun at the culture that this show has made and the people obsessed with collecting stuff from it. And so I think, if I recall correctly, this is what the boxes actually look like in the show. Because there's figures of different characters within. It's like a whole self-aware thing. But anyway, haven't opened this yet, but I'm really, really liking this show. And I recommend it, even if you haven't seen a show like this before. It's like 13 episodes, so I recommend that. But anyway... Good stuff. Fruity looking box, but hey, I ain't against that. Anyway, comes with, comes with giant ass handcuffs. I haven't watched the whole show yet, so a lot some of the stuff is still lost on me, but I really, really like Akiba Rangers, so check that out. Anyway, um, the other show that I really like the designs for, but I haven't watched yet, is Kamen Rider, uh, Kamen Rider uh, Forza. I haven't really even watched much of it yet. There's just a, just a box. But I love the designs of the writers and the characters in it so much that I actually picked this up. I haven't seen a, a really much of an episode yet. But this is Common Rider Meteor. If you want to check that out. This homeboy looks like a planetarium. So I just want to show that. That's it. Like, his belt is like the center of the solar system, and the rest of his suit looks like the solar system, and his head looks like a meteor. How, how am I going to say no to that? You know, so if anybody has an idea how I should say no to that, you tell me in the comments, but that's Pimp, as far as I'm concerned. Space-looking dude. Anyway, I, I don't know if that's showing up, but Common Rider Meteor from Common Rider Forza. I hope I got that right. I don't know. Like I said, I, I've seen very little. I just really like the designs, but I'm going to watch more now. Really, really like that one. Anyway, um, okay, so at Comic-Con, they had, st you know, still staying within the realm of figure arts, <clears throat> they had a uh, exclusive Gohan. And this is, just, this is just the box, but you can see the Comic-Con exclusive logo on it. But it's an exclusive uh, Super Saiyan Gohan but it's exclusive is it's got actually a better paint job than the original one they put out. And if you could see here, let me get it uh, right here. Actually comes with a full like Piccolo style cloak or cape or whatever you want to call it. Awesome, awesome figure. And again, the paint has a little more detail. I mean, even in his face, he's got like, he's like scarred from the battle and stuff like that. But anyway, you can interchange it so that you can make him either the regular happy Super Saiyan dude or you can make him like Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. 
the crazy ass killing machine Super Saiyan 2, but I didn't do that. I wanted to have the cloak on and all that stuff. So anyway, this was a Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, it was hilarious getting the Comic-Con exclusives because I have another one here. The other exclusive that was a Comic-Con that they put out, it was D-Arts. It says on the box, D-Arts Vava. Vava. But that's not what it's called. Well, in the US. In the US, this guy is known as Vile from the Mega Man X series. And it, this box is funny because every single instance of writing, is a, there's a sticker over it. Because they just put English over all of it, you know. I don't know why they didn't keep the name Vava. I think that's a beautiful name. But anyway, um, it was funny getting these because we were in line at the booth, the Tamashi Nations, Bluefin, whatever, booth. And we waited in line for both of these. On, it was me and my brother on preview night before it had opened because we got exhibitor badges. And we waited in line. And security, for some reason, really doesn't like when you do anything but sit in your booth quietly. So we were at their booth and security got mad. And there were about 20 people in front of us and they all yelled, back to your booth, back to your booth. And all the 20 people in front of us, because it was going to take a long time to, to pick up these figures. There was a big line, you know. All the people in front of us went, oh, man, and left. But me and Dominic just stayed there, and security went, back to your booth! And we just went, and they were, back to your booth! And we were just basically like, yeah, you're going to have to call the police. I'm sorry, we're just going to. So finally, security guard, his response was, Ugh. and then they walked away, and we, we were the first ones to buy these figures. So just a little, you know, pimp anecdote for you because we badass anyway okay so um last thing from figure arts or d arts or whatever the hell these are and again this is a show i haven't really seen i know it's stupid getting figures from stuff but i intend to watch this stuff i just like the designs a lot but this is from tiger and bunny i have not seen that show and i'm looking if anybody's seen it let me know what you think of it i just got this guy to sit on my desk uh sky high I got this to sit on my desk because every character in the show has a corporate brand. I guess that plays into the story. Like, there's someone from Pepsi. There's someone from, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. And this one is Ustream. And I thought that was funny, given that our, our podcast used to be on Ustream. This guy has the Ustream logo all over him. A, like, some kind of Ustream warrior. I haven't seen the show. I don't know if that's relevant or anything. But I thought that was hilarious that there was a figure for a streaming website so anyway so i got that that'll go on my desk later don't know much else about that okay other stuff that i got um moving away from the figure art crap and all that uh i got a lot of uh not a lot but i got some vinylmation earlier and um this i got at the park a while ago because i really like i don't know how many people out there are into the Disney animated movies. I'm not really like, that's not like my favorite thing in the world, but, uh, it, you know, I, I like the older, older animation for the sake of the animation. And I think that's why even, even growing up, my favorite was Alice in Wonderland. Cause honestly, it doesn't really have that great of a story, but I, the animation is so gonzo and weird that I loved it as a kid. Anyway, they had the full complete, uh, Vinylmation set of Disney's Alice in Wonderland, uh, the the flowers in the garden in that, and that was one of my favorite parts uh, in the entire movie was the uh, the kind of little song between them and that whole scene. But anyway, I have to hand it to Disney. The packaging for the Vinylmation that they have are almost just as good, if not better, than the things that are in them. Uh, but. Yeah, because uh, they released some new Vinylmation for the California Adventure Park, like, and the boxes looked incredible. The artwork on them was so cool that I was, like, immediately, like, oh, I gotta pick these up. And then I start looking at the figures included in them, and they really weren't that great, but the box was so eye-catching that I gravitated towards them, you know, anyway. So that's why I'm almost hesitant to open this. I really like this box. It doesn't say Alice in Wonderland blatantly on the front of it. It does on the top, but I, I don't know. Just the artwork is so cool. Anyways, I haven't opened these, but the flowers from that, and it's a that's a limited edition of 2000. So I, don't, I think they're gone. Sorry, I got it. Sorry, haters. Anyway, um, while I was at Comic-Con, I found the booth of somebody who, you know, a lot of times the Vinylmations are blind boxed, and uh, there was basically someone who was just 
selling off open ones that they had that they didn't want the characters. So I uh, got a bunch of these pretty cheap. If I can grab them. Anyway, there were a bunch of Pirates ones that I didn't have. And I actually, I, these ones that are shaped like the mouse, I normally, I'm not really normally into, but the ones based on Pirates of the Caribbean, I really like because they're so true to the ride. So I already have a, a few back there and I already got, honestly, most of the good ones, but like I didn't have that skeleton. That was pretty cool. From I think this is the one that's over the, that's by the uh, steering wheel at the beginning of the ride. And then that guy, I don't know if these are coming in clear. And then that guy. There was another one too. And uh, the woman, I believe this is the woman that's yelling, don't be chicken. You're welcome for that impersonation. Uh, I think that's her by the well. Uh, no, she might be in the auction. I don't know. I'm sure I will go on the ride again someday, probably. And I'll let you know what it is. Um, but I don't know for now. And also I just had to cut because the memory card filled up sorry anyway is this thing a figure this next thing i'm about to show i don't know but i'm damn i'm proud of it it's like a newborn child also uh ladies if you're watching and you experience a you know a sensation if you know what i mean like this you know kind of does something for you you may just want to pause it here if it's not appropriate during your class or in the library whatever i understand a lot of women might be suddenly very attracted to me and i just want to get that out of the way right now you know, if you're married, turn this off, basically. Okay, this is the portal gun from Portal. Why do I have to explain that? Anyway, um, I don't remember if I showed... I don't think I showed this in a video before, or if this counts as a figure in the least bit, but this is the OG version, baby. Oh, what's up? Oh, it works? Oh, yeah, that's right. Sounds like... This is, this is the working deal, dude. And then there's a little thumb switcher thing inside. Switch it to, oh, what's up, Blue? So, ladies, again, if you're watching this right now and you feel, you know, kind of like maybe uh, cheating on your spouse or significant other, it's not worth it. They did sell more than one of these. I'm sure that, you know, there's many fish in the sea. But anyway, like I said, this is the original one. You know, they've been selling some more portal guns lately that are like the, the Peabody version and the, you know, whatever version that have that are like blue and orange and stuff. But I got in on this ground level original portal gun, the shell version, whatever her name is, the white version. Uh, I was just... I happen to be uh, checking on Amazon for something at the time that they put these up for pre-order and I just got it right away. I pre-ordered it months ago before the pandemonium really set in and these things were selling out everywhere. People at Comic-Con were trying to get the other versions of them like crazy. Anyway, if you're worried that I just shot your screen and created a wormhole, do not worry. This is a replica. It's not real. Anyway, all right. Uh, <clears throat> Women, if you're watching, uh, turn, you can turn it back on now. There you go. All right. Anyway, um, this last thing is something I've been looking forward to for so long. It's ridiculous. Uh, I pre-ordered this probably like a year ago, as soon as they said what it was, because I'm such a fan and there isn't anything else like this. I haven't opened it yet, but here it is. Uh, by the company Figma who makes, again, really poseable figures just like uh, Figure Arts and, and Revoltech. Figma just released. Just shipped, this just came out in Japan a few days ago. The Figma Samus Aran from Metroid. There has never been... Okay, ladies, you might want to turn this off again. Le there's never been a legit uh, Samus figure. Or, you know, Nintendo doesn't really farm their stuff out that much, you know, when it comes to action figures, things like that. And uh, this is, they, they're starting to do this new thing now. And there's a link coming later from, from Legend of Zelda uh, later this year because this was such a hit, um, I guess. But Samus from Metroid, and if you could see all the different poses and stuff like that, it even comes with the Morph Ball, which is so awesome. But I, I love Metroid and I feel like, tell me if, tell me what your situation is. I feel like I'm the only one in my kind of like group of friends or circle of friends that is into Metroid. 
You know what I mean? Like, I know it's a well-known franchise, but I don't really know a lot of people in my in my own group of friends that... Like, when, when a new game comes out, I'm the one getting it, and I don't know anybody else that does. Uh, I played all the Metroid Prime games. I really like those. I really like everything. Even Other M had some kind of polarizing moments, but I enjoyed playing it. And this one is based on Other M, apparently, but it doesn't really... Samus looks the same in every damn title. So, you know, there were a lot of people that were like, Oh, why are you doing it on the Other M? version it's it's the same character i mean it looks it looks amazing and um the link that they're releasing later in the year is based on skyward sword and i know a lot of people don't like that but it's link like link is link okay give me a break anyway been looking forward to this for so long so i'm debate i'm probably gonna open it but i'm not gonna do it yet maybe i'll show that later because i got some other metroid stuff on the way too anyway um that's that i think that's it for here um but there's one more thing that I just set up back at the office. The piece de resistance. The best part yet. Uh, let's go back there. Watch this, watch this transition. This is cool. Cut. Okay, welcome back. Now we're back at the office and I got the cameraman again, even though it's been, what, two weeks since we filmed the first part? Yeah. This spans a lot of time. Anyway, um, we're still post Comic-Con. Yeah, anyway. And I want to show you what has changed since then. I've given Gokai Red the sword, the gun. You stream man is open. Vial is open. But that's not the reason I brought you here. The reason I brought you here is the, the, the creme de la creme of what I found. Got this at Comic-Con. There wasn't that much else there that I wanted, so I said, you know what? Piss on it. Bam. Oh, uh, what? That's right. But hey, please, hold yourself. Hold yourself. Kevin is, like, sweating. I think he wants this so bad. Hey, you had your chance, okay? Jeez. Anyway, sorry about that. Does that look okay on there? That looks good. Catherine. That's right. I got Catherine. She came separate from this little pedestal thing. I had to shove this right up her ass. But now, look at that. She sits perfect. Absolutely flawless statue right here. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't get that much. I didn't get that much stuff at Comic Con. Most of what I got was an Anime Expo. And I think I noticed something. And I want to get philosophical here for a second. But I always wondered, I was like, there's certain times of the year where I feel like I get more figures for my desk and stuff than others. And you know what I think it is? I was watching that South Park documentary. Did you watch that? The Six Days Day? Yeah. Yeah. And man, really when good. Trey Parker talks about when he gets stressed and he goes in the other room and builds those Lego sets, I realized that like at the peak of Anime Expo, it was when I had like eight conventions ahead and was getting so stressed out. But like when I get like figures and stuff, it's like simple. You know what I mean? Mm. I can just put something together the way I'm told to do it and that's it and there's no trick to it nothing will go wrong here yeah so that comic-con though i was less motivated to get stuff because i was at the end but i got this does that make sense though the philosophy yeah. the psych psychology of it i don't know anyway but it's perfect and you know what i understand this is a family show family vehicle but i do want to address what people are probably asking that, in the comments that's risky you that's, think so that's kind of risky you think so mm -hmm. should i not do it I don't know. Here. For a half a second. Okay. Wait, I'll gotta... confirm it. Ready? Wait, hold on. Let me get it in focus. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. They they are white. Okay. That's okay. Too much. That's it. That's too much. Too much. Uh, too much. Sorry, youth. my youth group. Uh, I do. I am a youth pastor um, on Saturdays. So anyway, uh, that's it. I had to show you that you got Vava in effect, you got Ustream in effect, Jehuti still there, nothing new with that. Anyway, thanks for watching this figure update. There may be another one soon, because I, I I know things. Buddy? Yo, what's happening? Uh, sorry, impromptu filming. This oh. is figure update July. Oh, shit. So I need, uh, I need an update, because you were up here. And I don't know, I don't know what figures you have planned, so we need to know now, and we need to know immediate. For my update, I don't do the fig. You always do your figure update. Yeah, I know you don't have anything here, but like, what's on the way? Like, what's what's on the street? Well, I got that solidus coming. 
I got the Solidus coming. Hey, I'm letting everybody know. Spoilers. Solidus is pre-ordered. Pre-ordered. Me, you, and yeah. Brian, son. Yeah. Ladies, get ready. Get ready. Get Fuck ready. It. You know what? Pre-order. Hey, pre-order new panties. Oh, oh shit. And uh, anyway, but you just got something on the way, right? I got, I got that. Well, I got that Piccolo today. Piccolo statue. Oh, it already showed up. It showed up today. And I you didn't bring Prime. it. Prime. I. I didn't buy it at AMA Son Expo, I put it off, and then I saw it Prime, yeah. Amazon Prime. There was a big ass Piccolo statue that we were going to get, and we Colise didn't, like, we never it? went it's back. Like Budokai Coliseum yeah. series of the Bandai thing. Yeah, but we just never went back to that booth. Like, our, then our panel happened and it was over. Yeah. So, Garrett acted. That's, so, I got that. Um, you know what else I just got? Hmm. The Revoltech Unit 1 and Unit Zero from 1.0. Do you remember those figures? Uh, those first repaint like figures we oh, saw. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They came with a the like big like graviton rifle or whatever, yeah. and the shield. Well, I'm sorry, they didn't come with that. You remember they sold a weapon pack box? Yeah, it yeah, was the yeah. shield. I I got that like for nine bucks. Really? Yeah, on Amazon wow. too. Well, there you so, go. So shipped. Delivered. Amazon is the place. To go, it had that pickle statue. We got, got the we got them accessories. Other than that, we got it all. I got that. Yeah, I got that con exclusive Ash from NECA. Here, oh yeah, here that's from right. Skies version. It's like a grayed out version. He's got the strike, a yeah. streak of gray in his hair from the end of uh, Army of Darkness too. Yeah, NECA had NECA had a an exclusive. What I was gonna get was the Locust, an exclusive Theron guard from Gears of War three. But I have so many Locust figures that I can't. I don't have room for any more. Can't That's do it. it. Can't do it. All right. Well, thank you for. That's that. me. Now we're up to date. Oh, and I, and I did for the record. I did show them the portal gun. Oh. Yeah. And you know what happened? Whoa. Stock in stock in Office Depot went up because they had to sell a lot of new chairs. What happens when you get that hoverboard? They got so they because uh, so many office chairs got soaked. They melted. Like Office Depot acid. loves it's like, me. You ever see aliens? It's like the acid. That yeah, they, that, they, that's it. Was just a lot of women became that alien. They hey, just pss, they lubricate. Something shot out and then sucked back in. Yeah, and um, yeah. Some get sucked in yeah, a minute. Something does. Uh, what about when you get that hoverboard? You two, both yeah, you guys, right? Well, hoverboard. I think we should formally announce on record. Yeah. Let me set it down. Set it. Forget it. I'm setting this on a ledge. That's really not that's smart. Good. It's it's about. I built that ledge. You're up. fine. We pre-ordered the hoverboard. Yeah, coming this oh, fall. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Pre-ordered. And we get the miniature one, too. Kevin's phone number on the screen. He's good at massages, ladies. You got a sore neck? I'll see you next fall.